Annyeonghaseyo. My name is Hadina Ohlendorf. I'm originally from Germany, but I now work in Thailand at Mahidon University International College. I'm also a research associate at the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London, which is also where I got my PhD. I've always wanted to compare Taiwan and Korea in my research, but I've never had the chance to really spend longer time in Korea for research. Um, Gwangju as a place was intriguing to me because I had read a lot about the democracy movement here but hadn't had the chance to visit in person. So when a friend told me earlier this year about the ACC Research Fellowship, I immediately decided to apply for it. I look mainly at how the political transformation from authoritarianism to democracy is commemorated in both countries. And at the moment for this particular project at the ACC, I'm interested in the ways memorial culture and tourism interlink. So I want to find out more about the connections between memorial culture, commemoration and tourism consumption. And some of the themes that I emphasize are, first of all, the commemoration of atrocities. So I've looked at dark tours on Jeju Island to commemorate the April 3rd incident um, or the political transformation of a former political prison into a human rights cultural park on Green Island in Taiwan. A second theme is the way in which former authoritarian leaders are now treated in democratic societies in both countries. So I'm trying to find out more about memorials to Park Chung-hee and Chiang Kai-shek and see how they have been changed or have not been changed since democratization. And then finally, a third theme is the emergence of democracy itself as something that is now celebrated and symbolized in public sites in Korea and Taiwan. And some of my case studies there include, um, for instance, the Museum of Democratization in Taiwan, the Democracy Park in Busan, and also this planned project of a democracy memorial hall by the Foundation for Democracy in Seoul. Um, I chose the two countries because they share a couple of similarities. Um, both of them experienced democratic transition after decades of authoritarianism. Um, both of them were also aligned with the United States during the Cold War, and that has had an impact on how they developed politically, economically, culturally to some extent. Um, very often also people talk about this concept of a divided society when they discuss Korea or Taiwan. Although in Taiwan now a large group of people rejects that notion and emphasizes Taiwan identity as something different altogether. But still this idea of a divided society is influential. And finally also in terms of economic development, both are wealthy post-industrial societies where tourism has been on the rise, has been very influential and where place branding has become an important policy aim. I pay attention to the ways memorials are selected and promoted. I want to find out who it is, who gets to select and choose, how sites are designed and curated, how tourism providers integrate memory sites into tours or itineraries, and then finally, how tourists or the visitors themselves interact with these sites. Through my research at the moment, I want to draw attention um, to the linkages between memorialization, politics of memory, and the economic side of consumption. That's why I found it helpful to think about democracy tourism as one form of what is sometimes called transformative tourism. For future research, I plan to examine the idea of democratic legitimacy in the context of neoliberal strategies of place branding. And I hope I will have some opportunity to return to Korea and Gwangju. I would like to thank the ACC very much for the research fellowship that has given me the opportunity so far. And I hope I can continue with this research. Thank you very much.